I will show you a sample dashboard how it looks. So you can go to catalog and you will find three dashboards which has been developed with value. One is for your recruiting, another is for onboarding and the next one is your um, uh, dashboard for some standard reports. So you can go to shared folder. In shared folder, you can click on expand or you go to standard report. In standard report, you can go to your reports recruiting. There you can go to sample dashboards. And there you have these uh, action link analysis, dashboard prompts and dashboards. So click on expand. So you can see three dashboards there. One is your recruiting, one is onboarding and third one is your standard reports. So if you click on open the recruiting one, so it will open a new tab and you will see that it is more like a personalized view and it will contain a lot of uh, reports at a single place. So this dashboard is having four different pages and each page is having many reports. Uh, Each, this is called entire column. So you have one column, two columns, three columns. So this page of dashboard is having three columns and each column is having some uh, data like your prompts, some graphs or some uh, views which you have created for different reports. And all of these can be uh, used to create a dashboard pages. So we'll try to create a new dashboard. So you have to go to new. You need to click on your this dashboard you can give a dashboard name and you can select the folder where you want to save this Now we are on the page first of the dashboard. So by default, the page uh, one will open. And you, on the left hand side, you can see there are the different objects. The first portion is your dashboard objects. So dashboard objects can be your columns. Each columns can contain the many sections below under it. And you have also the action link where you can create some action so that um, whenever you click on that action, it will uh, uh, navigate to some other URLs it can open a link it can invoke a java program in fact it can also open some other uh, uh, reports so all of these things can be done in an action link. combination of action link uh, can be used and can be used to create an action link menu we also have a concept of uh, adding a link or an image in the dashboard and again we can use the text we can also add a text uh, uh, something like text uh, uh, data into your dashboard and we can also add a folder suppose that um, you want a particular folder access uh, uh, in a dashboard if you want to make sure that uh, user has a uh, uh, user has a uh, what you can say capacity or capability to click on a particular folder in a dashboard so you can do that also and these use your catalog objects so catalog objects are the things which you have created it may include uh, the reports which you have created. It may include the uh, different views which you have created. It may include the prompts which you will create for dashboard prompts or it may also include some conditions which you have created. So all the things which you have created either in your own folder or in shared folder. So everything is there. So with the combination of dashboard objects and with the combination of catalog objects we'll try to create our dashboards. So we are on page first. The first thing I will do is that I will try to drag a column. So column is there. I will try to drag a section in it. And you remember that uh, I have developed a report. I can dig any of this report. I'm bringing it this. I can add another sections. There I can have one report in left hand side, one report in right hand side. So same way you can do the manipulations. So whatever view you want, 
uh, whatever look and feel you want two reports to appear in the same section if you want each report to appear in a different section so you can do all of those things so right now we have a column we have two sections so one is your uh, one section is having one report <coughs> and the other section is having two reports you can once you do this you can click on preview so whatever you have done you will be able to identify so one was your first report it is there and there is a second report i think there is some issue with the third one so let's see so i can click on the save dashboard as so once you save a dashboard you can go and you can click on run so see these were the report label prompts which were there in the reports so i can select uh, So on the first report there was a prompt and that is the reason it is showing me that first entire prompt. And these are not the dashboard prompt, these are the prompts of the individual reports. So see it is opening into a different window. And this was your second report, so in this report also there was some prompt. And in this report we don't have any prompt, so it is opening like this. And this report was having two views in the compound layout. So first view is your simple table and another view is your pivot table. So Sushil Rahul, are we okay with this? Why we are having, why uh, <coughs> this date range between prompt is coming? And why this uh, yes, job function name and job ID prompt is coming? Yes, Prince. Because these were the prompts which we had at, at a report level and once we enter some value in this prompt then only the report will open. And for the third report uh, we are not getting any prompts because there were no uh, prompts at the record level. And this was uh, this third report was having two views in the compound layout. One view was your pivot table another view was a simple table that is the reason we are getting two different views in this. Now I have a requirement that I don't want this uh, table view. I only want a pivot view to appear. So I will again go back to my dashboard. I will click on edit da dashboard. So once you save a dashboard and you want to do any changes, you have to click on edit dashboard. And this was my third report, which was actually giving me two views uh, at the same time. Because in my compound view, there were two views. One was pivot table and one was simple table. So what I will do is that I will click on this properties and I will go on this show view. Let me do it again. Sometime it doesn't respond. So next time it will come. Okay. So can you see it is title table one. Table one is a simple table and pivot table was the second view. So I will click on this. Now if I save this. Those are the views that uh, you like from the view selector that you created is that right it was not a view selector uh, we were having two different views in a compound layout one was your simple table and one was your pivot table okay oh okay no I see okay thank you if it was a view selector then it would have opened like view by and it would have, yeah. it would have given you an option to select so okay. by this we can understand that you can create many views of the report but it is not required that you have to bring the compound layout every time. You can select any view depending upon your requirements. 